I am attorney Marie Chris Batan Lasco. This is my virtual classroom. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this channel, we shall aim to simplify the law. We shall explain concepts and principles of law in under 10 minutes. In this video, we will talk about contracts having the force of law between contracting parties. What do we mean when we say that contracts have the force of law between contracting parties? This means that the parties to a contract must abide by the provisions of the contract and must comply with it in good faith. In other words, if one of the parties will not follow or comply with the terms of the contract, the agreed party or the other party will have the remedy of filing a case against him in court for breach of contract. It must be remembered, however, that for the contract to have the force of law between the contracting parties, the contract must not be contrary to law, morals, good customs, public order, or public policy. In other words, if the contract is against the law, say for example, a contract between A and B where A will sell prohibited drugs to B, then such contract is void because it is against the law. For such principle to apply, the principle saying that contracts have the force of law between contracting parties, the contract itself must not be contrary to law, morals, good customs, public order, or public policy. This is actually Article 1159 of your Civil Code, which says, Obligations arising from contracts have the force of law between the contracting parties and should be complied with in good faith. In characterizing the contract as having the force of law between the contracting parties, it just stresses the fact that the contract between the parties is binding between the parties. There is the obligation to follow the terms and the stipulations in the contract. Does this mean that our laws are inferior to the contracts that are made between them? The answer is no. This only refers to the obligatory nature of the contract. This only tells us, this only stresses that once you make an agreement with another party or with another person, whatever term or terms or stipulations that you have agreed with them, you are obliged to follow or you are obliged to comply with the terms that you have agreed with them. In fact, while you are free to make any term or stipulation to your contract, there is a limitation to that freedom. And what is the limitation? The limitation is that the contract must not be contrary to law, morals, good customs, public order, or public policy. That ends our very short and simple discussion on what we mean when we say that contracts have the force of law between contracting parties and it must be complied with in good faith. If you have learned anything from this video, please feel free to click like and subscribe. If there is any other principle or concept of law which you would want me to discuss in this channel, please put them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. See you next time in MBL Classroom.